Snap control. In control. Yes! Oh! Yes! Oh! So yes! So fucking sick, dude. Us, the normies, back to watch more of The Expanse. This one is titled The Hard Vacuum, Ooh. and it makes perfectly good sense after the episode we just watched recently. Oh, my land, it was actually crazy. But we're all excited. Are you guys all excited? I'm excited. Yeah, stoked. Man, Naomi's a shit. Stoked. Yes, we're stoked. And guys, we are back on track. We're doing this week by week. We're back. We're caught up with y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so hope y'all enjoyed here. that thick drop. Thank yes. You. We thank you for really all the uh, science lessons in the comments. That yes. you know, we can survive in space. Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna talk about. If you're, if you're wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So like, like I said, I, I watched, I watched time the guy, time that guy the whole episode. By the way, check it out. It's like the absolutely do for the expanse. It's fucking awesome. It's it's Ty, it's Ty Frank and uh. Uh, Wes Chatham, and that's uh. I know Wes Chatham. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, she knows. She knows. They, yes. So yeah, they basically have a whole show. They talk about the episode, and basically, uh, <laughs> they talk about the whole Naomi scene. And they actually, they know, they know what actually happened to Na what happened to Naomi, or what happened to Naomi, because they found out that NASA actually did, did something like this. They put somebody out in, in back in 1960. Well, so there's no. actual data of mm -hmm. someone basically not making it out there into the 1960s. So that's how they got the data. So the problem- Who would have agreed to that? Yeah, they died? Well, no, he, they died. It was accident. It happened accidentally. Hey, I, I, yeah, I, I, I heard, I heard that's happened a lot. Through, uh, and throughout like space exploration, there's been a lot of missions that yeah. we don't know about where people just didn't survive and the government just didn't reveal that information. Well, I don't know about that. I'm serious. I heard like, like Russia, Russia, Russia did it too. Hole. Russia has sent people out there who didn't make it back. And hey. like, it's, it's noted that it happened. Oh. <laughs> If it was Russia, yeah, <laughs> no, far more believable. Well, Ty, Ty said Ty said it was it was NASA that did it, mm -hmm. but it was 1960, so they know the problem is air radiation in space. You have to breathe your air out so you don't damage your lungs. So that's what yeah. she did. She breathes her air out, but when you do that, you have 15 seconds till oxygen passes you out. That's why she had that oxygenated blood. So when they gave that, she had that I knew was oxygen. oxygen. Mm -hmm. And when it, we it saw was, her it was burning the... out in space, it's because of radiation, bro. Because there's nothing out there to stop the sun from getting you. That makes sense. So it's like you're getting all that excess so radiation. That's why she was all blackening up and all that craziness. So she, and, she's, and she's and fine. We, can can she get her blood lungs yeah. back? Is she with, recoverable? With like, how is this going to work that's in the long cool. run, you know? Hey man, as long as baby girl's alive, that's all that matters. She'll right? always yeah. have her looks. And my you all in there with <laughs> but hey, so, so hey, so another thing that I also wanted to uh, say was, so the one thing I think we kind of like looked over the last episode, I feel like we didn't talk about it that much, was the show showed a lot of domestic abuse. The amount of abuse that Marco put... Uh, I, I talked about it. Well, we, yeah, we, yeah. we didn't talk too it. much. We didn't, didn't, didn't harp on it as much, I feel, I mean, but in it is where there was a lot going on. But uh, yeah, the show really dealt with like domestic abuse and like the amount of abuse that... Uh, Marco put, uh, what do you call it? Oh, he's Naomi a classic, classic. And Philip. Yeah, classic. Yeah, and Philip. Like, Definitely. it's just classic. It's the way he talks to Philip. You know what I mean? He, like, you have him down, every him right to up. be mad that you're So he talked about that. And also, it was a woman that actually directed the last episode. Ty brought that up. It was a woman that directed the last episode. So she had a lot of really good insight put in towards that episode, you know? That's so, really cool. Very, very well done. Very Another well thing done. is, uh, I was from, uh, dude, it's a great time, guys. So, like, they love. They don't. They hate flashbacks. They hate. They hate that shit. They don't like. We don't. We don't. We don't do flashbacks. But for like Marco and for uh, Naomi, they did. They went back and they showed like little clippets, and they just mm -hmm. made it like little clippets, like almost like memory pieces. Mm -hmm. So, just a couple little tidbits. Watch it, guys. Tired of that guy is great. Love no, it. Love yeah, there's never really been a flashback. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is good. The science behind space is beautiful. There actually has Fred Johnson when he attacked the. Uh, remember Fred Johnson when he? Yeah. They did that yeah, one. Yeah. So. There have been some, but he just he says he hates doing it. So, so. will Naomi survive? Yes, yeah, so will she survive? I mean, she. Yeah, I she mean, did. yeah. She, 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 <laughs> after after she what did. after I mean, what yeah. after what they told me, I was like, yeah. They, they, yeah, they, they I, made just, it I just saw some of those comments like saying an actual astronomer like verified astronomer verified the science behind everything aside from like one little thing of like Naomi. She would have just like fell immediately when she got back in, yeah. but they just decided like they knew that was the correct science, but they decided it would just be far more haunting if she was just kept floating after yeah. she got. It in. was definitely wow. very dramatic, cool. very dramatic, very dramatic. So like better for video. Sometimes sometimes the science is, is great, but yeah. they're still willing to make decisions to <clears throat> that are better for just like the the the, uh, the screen, the yeah. visual storytelling. Yeah. That's great. Freedom, creativity, love it. Let's go. <laughs>
Press play. No, all right, guys. We know you like watching Expanse with us here, but please remember this is not a market substitute. Go support the original content on its own because it's freaking phenomenal. You can find it on Amazon Prime. Then come watch it with us. After you watch it, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button because it'd mean a lot to us. If you want more of not just the Expanse, other things that we do, it's on our Patreon. We also have a Discord where we talk about the Expanse and other cool things like about your day. And we have social media. All links are below, and we love you. Thank you for being the here. The uncut of this will be available <laughs> on our Patreon. Just remember that. It will be available. So Uncuts be yeah. lit! Like I said, uncuts other cool things lit. on our Patreon. Buy and read the books, too. Yes. Yo, yeah, man, I love the color blue. Look how good he I love looks. the hint of blue they put on Earth sometimes. Please. They didn't do it on Earth. They did it on Illus, but... Oh, this is next to each other. She can't wipe, that sucks. She went through some shit. How does Amos line and stay so fresh? Like, right? so, like he stay clean as hell, bro. You know, he look like Pat after true. a haircut. Like he looked like Pat after a fresh haircut. Like <laughs> Do you know who this Chatham is? Yes. It looked like he just got cut between episodes. Right. Sure, whatever you'd like to think. What are we gonna do when we get to Baltimore? It's the safest place for us that I can think of. What? <laughs> <laughs> this someone told you not to come back. If you know we're gonna answer, I don't want. Don't hold back. We need help then. So he is he gonna ask her, his brother? He didn't tell her about Baltimore at all? No, I don't like, think he's. I don't think he really indulges safe. like that. I you know what I mean? Really I think he can figure that out. Go, go, go. I mean, I mean, I mean, you, it, don't, it's, it's his you don't really words. tell your dirt to somebody like that. that you're feeling like that. Like, he really feeling, I don't think he gonna drop that before. Like, it's, it's not a prelude to my dirt, man. I'm not gonna get it's, it's, it's different. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a BTW. It's gonna be a BTW. the damage. Poor Sin, man. That I. Nah. I mean, he he did kind of deserve it, though. He did hide name his kid, remember? Oh. Yeah. Dude, this dude. He wants to see if, if he's Marcos is gonna show Damn, up. Damn, did you, did you cast that? Yeah, 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 he said he killed him. He wants to see if Philip's gonna show any emotion. I'm sorry, guys. I have a problem. I'm trying to stop talking. I promise you. I have ADHD. I will stop. <laughs> dude. Oh man, yeah, she looks different. Oh my. Wow. Dude, her acting these last two episodes have been just phenomenal. She like went like beast mode. Mike, look at her acting. This is low this is low key tearing me up on the inside, Dude. bro. Like this is really hard to watch, bro. Her acting is just amazing lately. Oh my god. Disconnect one. Do more. not disconnect when armed, and it was disconnected. The prosthetics in the makeup department too, man. Oh my god, her eye. Yeah, it's like painful to look at. Are they faking it's her It's the voice? trap, yeah. yeah. It's the trap to get him to come. Because oh. that's not really her voice, right? No sign of the type being back scattered would pick up as probably communication with Marco. Orders to destroy the sample, not be captured. And it's a job for us. Fine by me. Fly course for the Razorback. Hell yeah. 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 I heard Bull was actually the shit. Like, that's Bull right there. It's supposed yeah. to maybe, he, he's actually like, Bull's actually the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, t I'll tell you about him. Dude, you gotta go now. Dog, that sound design is like nasty. Wow. What a horrible fucking. He sounds like a fucking dictator. It's PewDiePie's chair. <laughs> More like corpse. They use us? No. Looks like they use all of them. Why did Marco attack them? You mean why do we? Mm hmm. They attacked us. The dark Kubilaya got the same offer to join the Free Lady as you did, as all factions did. They declined. So Marco let them go in peace. <laughs> this is peace. And then they have, we must feed and protect the belt. She's feeling herself, bro. She's like mm. sold she's into so Marco. She has sold into she's, Marco. She sounds like she really believes in what they're doing, though. Like she, like she don't see. It sounds like she feels no ill will from that shit. 
It's funny, today's inauguration day and this is his Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's that, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, Kamala, auntie! I know. Hey, Fucking Lady Gaga and so Lady good. Gaga. Anyway, let's pay Hey, man, Kamala Auntie about to deliver samosas in the next stimulus. I'm calling it. I never planned to be in this position. <laughs> I take this office with a heavy heart. Former Secretary General Christian Abbasarella and Admiral Felix Delgado. He's presenting oh, got them. them. I'm glad he's presenting them to everybody. I am honored to have them at my side. Hell yeah. Recognize, All right. recognize the honor right there. Mm-hmm. We will not stop until Marco Anaros and all of his associates have been hunted down and made to answer for the atrocities they committed. This is the beginning of the reckoning. Man. The first step towards justice, and this journey will not end until we are victorious. The future of this planet, the future of humanity, demands it. Damn, all right. All right. What are you saying? Don't bring the passion. Hey, Ty, Daniel, how'd you time travel and I feel like copy it, Joe Biden's speech? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, essentially. Man can, man can throw a speech. Maybe, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah. It, today on it, it has to, it has yeah. To be. These guys yeah. are, these guys ain't, you know, they know what's up. We see you guys. I mean, the, inaug- the inauguration is had the same time every year. It's, it's pretty easy to schedule something around it. Yep. Baltimore. Man. Here we go. Look at he the is. look at the damage though. Like the remember yeah. the the walls that were keeping up the oceans. Oh, the oceans have fell through, right? Yeah. And not every year. Whenever whenever we elect the president. Only you could survive an asteroid attack and then willingly walk into a more dangerous situation. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, son. Apocalypse and your white knighting at the brothels. <laughs> Whatever it's here to help you. Have you heard of Wampasaki Island? No. It's in New Hampshire. Islands are private enclaves for wealthy people. Vacation houses that are mostly empty. Jules Pierre Mao's father. Jules Pierre Mao. Jules Pierre. Oh, yeah. shit. How long do you think you and your crew can hold up here? As long as we have to. Oh, my God. Poor thinking. He's not a long-term yeah, I thinker. I know what it's like to lose everything. We're not talking about a handbag, princess. I knew this woman once. Fellow royalty? No, fellow... Shut English. up, asshole. She killed her children. All five of them. She talked about them like they were still alive. Like when she got up the next morning, they'd still be there. I thought she was crazy, but she came up to me one day and said, I know they're dead, but I know I'm dead too. You're the only bitch who cares because she's still alive. Oh, wow. Oh, oh I do Sue, remember that. Damn! Old fucking Lieberman's that used to run washed away like they were never there. We figured this was just the turn again, but... Nah, this is different. It's gone. I saw a case of that healer. <laughs> Abel just saved his life and took him off this planet with him. Hey, shout out to my boy for having Earth and Pride, though. Like, that was Earth and Pride. It was, yeah, it was. That was. For sure, for sure. We believe Interus's fleet is dispersing through the belt and heading toward the outer planets. Our Saturn and Jupiter fleets are still analyzing the ship profiles, but we have no information on Marco and Aris's location. What about the Martians? Do they have any leads on his whereabouts? Nothing of substance yet. We can not depend on the Martians. If Inaros is heading towards the outer planets, destroying the ring might be his next objective. What about Medina? But you don't know. Do you know yeah. all the ships? Yeah. 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 I don't okay. think I know. Our citizens need to see that we can apply pressure. How can we flush him out? We cut him off at the knees. He's huh? a very smart rookie. A very yeah. smart rookie. The belters on both have traditionally been more radically. They're gonna the kill. Boats, Innocent belters, essentially. Palace station is the one I think we should focus on. Or belters that not all. Oh, have they're gonna go for palace. palace. Yep, they go for palace. That's gonna piss off Marco more. It's gonna piss off all the belters. It's gonna piss off Philip and Naomi too. Was was an entirely different situation. Come on. Thank you, Vasarala. We radicalize every belter who does not support. True. Yes. Yes. Things are getting worse down there. Nah, you don't kill innocents, bro. You made it, bro. Yeah, she had to go against him on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, you gotta get the other factions against him. At this point, I feel like Holden needs to read the letter she left behind. The new Secretary General. But, like, the idea of killing people that might not have nothing to do with it, to me, is, yeah. like, horrific. Yeah, it can, they can't. Like, that's, that's tough. They can't do that, yeah. <gasps> Dude, what a fucking G. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my god. Shit. She said fuck a lot. Can you mm-hmm. can you pull it up? You know how she's a G? 
Cause she flies at zero G. Mm. <laughs> Bro, Leverage. this is some G shit. Damn. Jump you on it. The birds uh, on your fucking solar fingers. Uh, Hell no. Fuck out. Dude, her hands are so like, bad. Those are like second degree, third degree burns. Tie it around your waist maybe and move with your legs. That's mine. Mm. She's so good at that. There you go, girl! Use the legs, Oh, God! Oh, yeah! Oh, my God. Poor Naomi. Things you will do for love. At this point, I don't think she cares if she dies. Yeah. She... I think she's just going to save Holden and make sure he doesn't fall into this trap. Yeah, she's like, thing you do for love, man. Yeah. Oh, you, you think she's gonna die this episode? I don't, I don't know. Maybe oh. this season, I don't know, bro. Like, she, there's some permanent damage there, unless you get some serious medical attention quickly. She might be okay. Dude, are you fucking with me? I cannot take this trust for her anymore. This is like castaway, but worse to watch. See, everything is failing. Everything! They fried everything, dude! Everything is failing on her. I love how it's all visual. Like, we can follow what she's doing. But, you know, they're not like... They're, they're showing, not telling. That's Mickey Sucks. Can you do, like, a reboot when, like, you know, something goes off? Do you do to break her? Mm, I don't think it'll work if wires are, like, disconnected <laughs> and shit, though. Plus... They've stripped most of the electronics off the uh, ship. Oh, this was a very dumb question. <laughs> Although, why that look like the helmet Luke Skywalker was wearing when he yeah, was practicing? Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. Yo, honestly, I want to be like her when I grow up. She's so Amazing. brave. What is she doing? Is she going out? Yeah, you going back out, bro? Is she trying to go, off the, go outside to get a Fix signal? it or something? I don't know, man. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. It's just been sabotaged, man. I don't think there's any stitching this back together. Mm -hmm. Some of the best TVs where like there's zero dialogue and you just watch along like this. Yeah, it's very tense. And the lack of music. Uh, mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. How much yeah, can you put boy. yourself through? Oh, like, no. yeah, at some point I'd be like... This is like hard to watch. Just tip as a genius. She's doing it. She's doing it up. I'm gonna re-solder these wires and like, mm. oh, wait, she got it. My name is Naomi Nagata, and I'm a water freighter Chetumaka. An automated distress call in my voice is being broadcast from this ship. Yeah, thanks, man. It is a lie. Yep. Chetumaka is a bomb. I was, I was asking all that. Was that a bomb? That's what I figured it was in the beginning. The There's no way for it to get off. I believe a proximity detonator has been set. I cannot transmit, but I can receive. I have no idea how she's gonna get out of this. Mm -hmm. She about die, like you said. I repeat, do not approach this ship. No, no, me. We're here. <laughs> he's like, oh. <laughs> knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> if we had said no to Michael, someone else would be salvaging this ship and looking at our dead bodies. We are still together. They'd all be dead if they we said no. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I can. She can't fake it, man. If drummer is the. Uh, she a real one. Yeah. Dope as fuck. I mean, after though. what happened with, what's his name, too? You want cable? You cook them. I hope such is being cheated well. Why wouldn't they be? If I was on that ship, every day you'd be looking over your shoulder. Yeah. You'd be looking back and not looking at the things you can't control. Meanwhile, but, uh, get out of your flip This guy is such a flip flop, right? Yeah. Flip flop McGee over here. Oh, my That's your mess. You clean it up. I feel like that would be way more annoying than a regular spill. Yeah, it would be, but it would be kind of cool if I fuck for the first time it happened. Yeah. 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 See, <laughs> so they can disagree on things and they're still, like, they, they're, they're, they got their friendship, they got their unity. So Drummer just called that chick Michio, yeah. and in the books, that's the head of the ship. So Drummer oh, is taking her place. Okay. Yeah, she's taking place of Michio's part. It makes sense to have her be in the leadership role. We've the, seen her. There's some characters in the books that are like there for like one or two books, so they kind of spread those to other characters in the show, and I, I, it was a smart decision. We don't find out we soon. We're going to need to make a pit stop and resupply at Hygieia. Hygieia. I think they got the last couple of years at this stage. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. She shook it. 
Oh, they didn't need. I don't think they they knew what was happening yet. Did they? Wait for what? Did they know about Earth? Oh, I don't know. Alex and Bobby. Good question. I have no idea. No. Hey. Uh, but it's it's the fake one. No. Yes. Yes. And they got the no. fake one. No. 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 That's the wrong message. <laughs> that was the wrong one. Yeah. I felt like you were holding back from saying what you really wanted to about the proportion of response to job. It's to present options to you, sir. That's all. Speak your mind. I think we should bomb every single one. I think we should blow up Alice Station. <laughs> I believe it. Come on, Alice. No. Maybe we need to respond. Families and victims, all the people on our planet, they need to see that we're fighting back. Damn. The belt is struck. You ain't wrong home. about that, though. We need yeah. to strike back there. But like yeah. somewhere That's else, fire somewhere fire. else. Their blood is on his hands, not yours. We're all gonna have blood on yeah. our hands before this is over. True. Lots of spoil theirs. I like this guy. He's a cuddly, yeah. smart little owl. It's Name screaming Firehawk! Oh yes! No! Yeah, they're they're coming to the fake no. one. No! I know that's sad, but you know they they didn't scream Firehawk, guys. Yeah, that's so cool they put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really cool they threw that in there. Hey, yeah, they scream Firehawk. Tattoos, tattoos, still hot. She still got them tats, babe. Did she like fuck with that message? Is she gonna try to alter? She's gonna the message? bomb it herself. No, I think she's gonna try to alter the message somehow. What is she going? Actually, going out there? Going back out there, get some more wires. He's gonna cut it off somewhere. God damn it! God damn it! Ah, oh, damn. This is so good. Bro. Why is she memorizing? Why is she, like, repeating the line, though, herself? Oh, my It'll God. It'll always be the last one, too. Oh, oh no! my God! Damn, dude. They're killing her, bro. It's so funny. But she's going to save the whole world. <gasps> Look at that dude. No. She no. said no. Rosanate, at least. As soon as it took, we went to a Swiss t-shirt. Serious? Why? She is on such a power trip. Oh, oh I, I know. Yes! Okay, I have a feeling. Drummer. Mm. They're all getting the same message mm -hmm. we need. But she, but she knows. But she heard it though. She knows. I think that was Naomi though saying that specifically to her. Uh oh. Oh, this bitch is fucking playing games. Oh, she's gonna get mad now. No, that was her actually. That was her that time. This chick, bro. This chick. Like. <laughs> that was Naomi specifically sending it to her. Whoa! Drummer is about to lose her shit. Mm -hmm. She going, bro. She going. Like everything she fought for, bro. Everything she She's such a thug. In. She can't even be in a room with her no more. She's like, I want to kill this bitch so bad. Like, <laughs> dude, I feel for her, bro. Everything she believed in, everything she fought for, bro, is being thrown out by her own fucking people. She's losing her mind. I don't blame her. Like, this is it has to be infuriating. It has to be. Wow. And she really was just in such a position of power for the OPA <gasps> oh. for it to be swapped that fast. <gasps> Damn, she drank it. Oh. Wow. Whoa, 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 slow down. Slow, slow down. down. Damn. Sometimes you just got to go and scream as loud as you possibly can. It helps. The scream Fine, therapy. Man. Sometimes that's that's like the only thing that like that, that helps is just like finding a way to release, you know, like a nice good release. Just scream. <sighs> She gonna pass out. Mm -hmm. Stick with the girl. Hurry up. 
Come on, girl. You got it. She got it. Oh! Yeah! Code, she's, she's cutting a piece of the, the message oh. up. Yeah, I remember she was trying to hurt her. So fucking well done. This is like really, really tough, man. This is really tough. Her visor's like fogging up and shit. Mm -hmm. Get out of there! Jesus. Is she just floating in zero G getting drunk? Yeah. yeah. That would be kind of fun. Yeah, it would throw up on myself. Yeah. Was it like Morse code? Like, what did she do? Yeah, that's yep. what I said. Oh, she just did it to let people know she was alive. Yeah, she like edited the message. Yep. Mm -hmm. like, to, to make have it make more sense. Oh, oh you guys! Oh, wait, 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 listen, listen, listen. Oh, no! <coughs> In nav control. In control. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, so sick. Yes! So fucking sick, dude. Oh my god. She to the message. I knew it. Hey. That's nuts. You know, a lesser show would have so had her do sick. that a lot easier. But that was so incredibly difficult for her to accomplish that and, that made that so satisfying. And, and here, here's some details. So, like, the Chet Smoka, so, like, uh, Inaros, whatever ship they come across, they're stripping it for parts for everything. So, she was in there with a hull of a ship and a bunch of bombs, bombs yes. and, and, and a wrench. So, like, it, it's astronomical, like, what she pulled off. Like, she did that with no technology, with, like, not nothing to really, like, she really had to figure that out. Like, it, it was, it, but they, oh, man, that was, like, beat for beat from the books. That was amazing. That was beat for beat from the books? It was amazing. She's well a genius. Amazing. Oh, she's well a genius. God. Yeah, Dude, that. Yeah, because, like, Baltimore, I feel like, was, like, more of the minuscule parts of the story. Yeah, it was. Even though it wasn't, like, truly minuscule. But Baltimore was a really good it, it it allowed us to actually see what the fuck was happening with earth like a good visual representation of what happened and then actually hearing timmy speak about what happened to baltimore it's like when it hit first i came up here and i saw the uh what is it, the, the walls break down and the, oh no, no 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 so that that's eric, T eric Tim 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 no, i'm like who the fuck is eric, timmy eric, my bad. <laughs> in my bad eric eric when eric was saying that basically he was like mm -hmm. i came up here all the skyscrapers were blown out already by the impact, mm -hmm. and then after that, I seriously I sat there and I watched the ocean, yeah, take over all my all, all those streets and everything where I grew up and like was nothing. I was like, oh my god. That, that's one thing that they haven't visually shown a lot is like the sheer devastation that it did to the planet. Like however many impacts there were, I, I they, they've told it through like you know news footage and whatnot well we haven't so, seen like, the totality I, of the of the damage we have not seen like yeah yeah, yeah. so 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 i'm glad they showed like baltimore like in in ruins like i mean, I mean they took out some major parts of like the earth like they, i yeah it's, it's, they, it's just like they literally just it's just they just they 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 destroyed it they thrashed it yeah because I mean, like when you're when you're when you're talking okay so like the one thing that so you you told me a hundred times and like I've seen it in the show is that the Earth is so fucked to the point already as it is that we have fucking walls right now to protect us from the oceans basically. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like there's literally a wall right now that is supposed to stop from the ocean from flooding us. That's, that that's what we've come up with as a, a band aid from what we've done to the planet. Well, we love we, we, we love gone. throwing ra throwing walls up, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we love throwing walls up, you know. But like it's the planet was already like having issues you know what i mean we don't have the amazon anymore you know what i mean uh all the, all this like like the, the poverty on planet earth it's just like it's just man it's, it's just throwing a nuke to a place that's already been nuked is that is that, is that, is that correct i mean i mean yeah, kind of, you know i mean, I mean yeah. honestly the whole idea of them coming up with a plan of them moving out to these rich islands I, I, even part of that plan plan is banking off the fact that even the wealthy people have not survived what just happened to Earth. Like, mm -hmm. like yep. Mon yep. money didn't even yes. save you from this. Like, you know, like if you were in a place where you were close to that devastation, you were impacted. So, I mean, it's 
Uh, it's it's just a crazy scenario, man. That's part of it's probably part of the reason why they haven't showed us the destruction. Because think about think about that for a second. That they they have an idea of it being an island when people who have money did not reach. <laughs> they didn't get there. <laughs> no. Um. Another thing they showed off was just like the mirror again with the devastation. A good example of it was when they showed the dead bodies of the deceased older people. Yeah. From the uh, home, it's yeah. like they couldn't. They knew they. It's like they, they knew there was nothing they could do for them, mercy. and they just threw them into fucking bags. Mercy. You think that's right? what it was? Right. Like they yeah. like, we were assuming because I remember when when they said they said yeah that's what, what it looked like. we're assuming that's, that it was a, a oh, yeah, mercy killing like a mercy thing like oh yeah yeah that's that's what I mean from what Amos said with those bodies that was, was laying down there the it was it was definitely mercy for like the older folks because like I mean how are they gonna survive yeah bro at, at that point how do you survive you know. Mm-hmm. It's like survival is just out of the game at that point. That's so. That's so. That's yeah, so. That's, that's so that sad, man. That's so sad. Yeah, it's, it is. It's just the humanity of it all. I mean, it's just. It was really good to see though Amos and uh, Peaches it, together getting finally to that like destination. Yeah. Being in front of each other. I mean, I know I shipped them, but they're obviously biffles. Yeah, they're, they're like biffles too. I, the, I could have that relationship pegged around. The, the one, though, I, I think the one thing I feel like with his relationship, I. I Got off the comments, but like, remember his relationship with Vladov, 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 and how he just wanted to just book. No, I think he wanted to keep her safe more than anything. It's kind of like that. He just wants to. Oh, keep I thought you were talking about the girl from season four. No, no, season. Vladov. Uh, yeah. You know who she is? A fucking uh, from Lost. Forget her name. Uh, Juliet. Juliet, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, whenever Juliet gets into a story, it's it, you know it, just gets, it gets better, dude. <laughs> it's it gets, always season three too. It's always gets better. But, but he like, was like like that one girl from last season. He only wanted a physical <laughs> relationship with her. Yeah. So he has yet to he doesn't know how to like be romantically involved with someone he really cares about. Yeah. Is, so he's just in the protective phase. But maybe maybe this will be his chance to overcome that and actually have feelings for someone that he also wants to protect. May, 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 maybe he, yeah, he's yeah. always super robotic, yeah. man. He's super robotic. Yeah. Or oh, oh, um, rather lack of emotions. Thing, oh, I'm sorry, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So oh yeah, the one thing that I did take away from like being in Baltimore is like not even Baltimore is safe. Because he even told Eric, he's like, how long do you think you guys are going to hold out up here? Mm-hmm. He was straight up like, look, I, like, and that's kind of fucking crazy thing about it. Eric and them, they were the kings of Baltimore. That's what they held on. That was their spot. And now they can't even keep their own shit together. Yeah. That's how... Apocalypse that's, will do that too. That's you. how lawless the world has become. I mean, it's fucking... You saw what it looks like. There's no way it doesn't make any order anymore. And It's, it's all for one. And what the narrative mm-hmm. seems to be is that it's getting worse. Like like before, like yeah. that. Going back to what Mickey said, not seeing exactly what's going on. Whatever we haven't seen, or see, uh, at least seen the totality of it, it's getting worse. So I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah. Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's good to have Earth the Pride. I gave him a shout out for that. But like, what do you, what are yeah. you having pride over, bro? You, what is there to fight over there? What is there to fight for? I feel like society has should have collapsed on Earth, and yeah. like right now, what we saw with like a Bossarella and like everybody up there. Are just like the remnants of like what's left, you know. Like I feel, yeah. I, I feel like society is completely collapsed on Earth, and there's like not not there's not much right now that is actually holding anything together. That's just my takeaway so far from I, it. But I, I might be wrong. I would have liked to see Versarala and them Secretary General's uh, perspective on like damage control on Earth, like yeah. trying to figure out how to keep things from going apocalyptic mm-hmm. as they are. Because yeah, the first response is important too, but. Maybe well, they'll dive into that next episode. Well, you saw that checkpoint that uh, Amos and Clarissa happened upon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I, th- I, I think, I think like the damage is so devastating that people are kind of having to f- fend for themselves, and like pe- people are trying to set up what they can where they can. That's what I'm saying. Society, society class. Yeah. But then it's, to it's, that to that point, then I don't think it's too important to the Earth people that we retaliate against the belt so soon. Yeah, they're, no, they're, they're, sure. they're, they're just trying to survive now. Bigger fish yeah, to fry yeah, right that's now. That's a good point. Then, that's a good point. Yeah, because like I feel like yeah, the damage is so far done. It's just like, but at the end, don't play fire with fire. Yeah, they like did that, but like you don't do the same thing back ever. Like it's horrible. Marco is hiding behind them though. Mm. It's yeah, I mean, but, but I did like that scene. Um, with the, that general, like he, he just came in with the cold hard facts. Like he's like, bro, it's not my job to have feelings. It's my job to give you options, and this is what kind of has to be done to some. And he's not wrong, but it's just uh, war is ugly, you know. Like there's there's no. What is it good for? Yeah, and it and it, and it you gives you like it he? gives you a contrast amongst people too, man. Because in, in reality, you know, 
it, it would have been cool to, for them to just have a straightforward conversation in that room because that was really more so a conversation about people. Like, how do you feel about people? And it's interesting to, to hear somebody who has like a war general's mind state compared to someone who has to look at the whole picture. And like, you know, as I was sitting and listening to the conversation, I couldn't help but think to myself, like, like yeah, you might want to show power to, to show that you're not weak at probably the weakest moment of like human existence, you know, but at the same time, like the whole idea of reserving the humanity to not want to kill innocent people. And even going to the idea, we talked about it a little bit, Serge, of like, there's no way Marco didn't plan for this. Marco planned for the Earthers to sit there and have this conversation to not come out there and blow up the Belters' resources. So it was like, that's like deeper than war, man. That's like me, 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 me playing with your home, but me also fucking with your mind. Like, <laughs> I, I'm going to go beat up your brother because I know you not, you, you like my brother, so you're not going to come over and beat my brother up. So I'm going I'm to beat your brother up because I know you're not going to touch mine. Marco planned for that. So like that's that's I, I like I don't know. What please anybody give more information on what would you do? What would you do if you at the table? What would your decision be? Let's say we are all sitting around I, that table. What are our decisions? I do like the new Secretary General character because he hasn't like made up his mind right away. Like he's not hastily getting into any side. He's like, yeah. let me let me hear this out. Maybe more so on the attack side of it since he called you know what's like his name into the room but, uh, Delgado into the room but uh but hopefully at, he sides with Christian but at the same time like a decision needs to be made like yeah. you, you can't you can't sit on mm -hmm. opinions for you know forever that, you gotta, yeah and, especially in this case like I feel like if if Abasarella was in his position like if he just gave up that leadership position she, she would have made a call by now I, yeah she would I, 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 I don't know I, also, I don't know man I don't I don't agree with that at all because this is what I was just talking about uh, like I don't I was just talking about like that's a tough decision bro that is a tough decision one of the toughest ones she even gave an example of how when she blew something up it was a war a, 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 a warship it was military it was military compared to like she missed her like the, I, like based off of what she just said I don't know if she would have made the de a definitive decision. She probably would have thought about it. Like, this is completely... She's a, oh, I'm she just saying, I'm, I'm saying she would have made a call. Yeah, And she's but, like, obviously, she's... Uh, no, she knows... Sorry, real quick. Yeah. She just knows the casualties of war more now because of what happened to Arjun. She still doesn't know what's going on with Arjun. So she's like, mm -hmm. do we really need to kill innocent people that don't have anything to do with this? Because, yeah, the cycle is... But I, also think, yeah. but I also think she's also looking at it from like a political and strategic standpoint. It's like not all the Belters are probably in agreement with everything mm -hmm. Marco is doing right now. They're you know not. I mean? It's like you don't, you, don't want, you don't want to make enemies out of the whole lot. No, because right now it's just factions. And yeah, exactly. it's going to be the whole faction. You know, yeah, you know what I mean? You want to make, you know, like, so her going in there and just like attacking... It's just not the best way to go about it. So, you know, so, so, good, so again, a good analogy I can use. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. A good analogy I can Ooh. use would probably be like what, like Afghanistan. You know what I mean? Like, just because these this dude came out and he fucking got us and got got to these goddamn planes doesn't mean we got to go and fucking attack the whole fucking lot of them. Yeah. You know, right. We could have just made. We could have just gotten the one guy and his fucking cohorts and been really, really smart about it. Yeah. But instead, we got the whole lot of them. And now the whole lot of them are really fucking pissed at so us. So, oh, Bin Laden did it in, from Afghanistan? So we gotta I, go Iraq. To Iraq. Iraq. Let's go to Iraq. Iraq sounds what good. Is, yeah. Iraq. What, I thought oil? That, oil? Oil? Uh, WMDs? Oh. <laughs> Man, Bush is still a war criminal, y'all. He was at that inauguration, bro, but I don't, hey, I don't, I don't hey, like that motherfucker, bro. Hey, stop, stop, stop. I'm not political. But I, but war I, criminal, motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about. I asked y'all a serious question, and I meant that as a group of us right now, and Mickey and Pat, who else just said that you felt like a decision needed to be made? What decision are you making right now? I, Everybody. I would see what we could do for the Earth first. Like, you know, what, what kind of resources or what we can do to help people. But, you, I mean, they're right. Like, the people of Earth, like, I'm sure they're, you know, the first thing is like, we need help, but their immediate second thing is, who's going to pay for this? Because, yeah. like, they just took out a fight. Runner, 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 like, runner. What are you going to do, yo? Are you attacking? You're not attacking? What are you going to do? Right now, at this table, what are you I'm doing? I'm not attacking. Yeah. I'm not attacking. I'm going to put out a peaceful message, but we know you belters are not, like, doing this, but, like, help us, like... 
unite together. I was gonna say that, like, when, if they can get a delegation of belters to, let me unmute. If they can get like some peaceful belters to come and like negotiate or have a sit down with them, be like, what do you know? How can you help us? That's a good Otherwise, idea. Like, we're gonna That's have to. We're, you're gonna you force our hand to together. attack. Patch, you patch, you fighting, Pat? You gonna blow some shit up, Pat? What you nah, gonna do? I ain't fighting. I ain't trying to have the whole fucking faction after my ass. I think I think we're all here on the same sentiment as like, you know, we're we're gonna sit back and uh, okay. I, 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 I thought and, for a moment. Yeah. I thought for a moment like some of y'all was thinking that we should blow some shit up. I wanted to yeah. hear your like your reasoning. My bad. My bad. Like <laughs> a- actually, that that was a little detail uh, when the general was very confident about the ships they have. I don't think he's aware of everything in Naros has. Yeah, because, that's the thing. because he was like, we have enough ships to take him out three times over, and it's like no, he, no, no. Any Martian they, they, stealth they, tech. Or they don't. They so like uh, um. Alex and Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Al- Bobby. Alex and Bobby are disconnected from it, but they're they're scouting this whole deal going on, and they figured out that Martians are selling whole freaking battleships to Inaros, and I don't think they're aware of that yeah. because Bobby's working for a Vas- Vasarala, but I don't think she's had contact since the last time we saw her have mm-hmm. contact. So it's like everybody's got a piece of the puzzle, and, yeah. and they're. They're, I really and, hope and the belters didn't get those big mech suits that Bobby has. And they probably do. And yes. then another the, 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 the thing is, they don't have any idea that like Salvatore and like they're they don't. I don't think they have any idea because even like uh, the the new he went Secretary General was all like David Pastor. David Pastor was like, yeah, what about Mars? David and like you know, very subtly was all sort of no, I don't think we should fuck them with it. But I don't think they have any idea how much. Mars mm-hmm. is behind this because mm-hmm. like everybody has a supplier you know what I mean it wasn't like Marco got this by himself it, he had a lot of help there was no way this man got to where he got with all that stuff and shit and it was it's it's kind of a interesting parallel between uh, Earth and Mars because they're both essentially done yeah. like Earth got destroyed by one means and Mars got destroyed by another means except the people on Mars are like well the planet's done so let's strip it for parts and make money like that's, yeah, that's essentially that's basically what happened. Yeah, and then also, man, I just want to say, I just want to also, also say a comment on the Belters. What a, you know what? Look, what a badass bunch of motherfuckers. That's why I was a Belter. These in guys, one. think about it. These guys are humans meant to live and survive in fucking space. That is a feat. That and they they don't breathe in that bitch, bro. They don't breathe in that bitch. But they can like glide through that shit with no fear, man. I'll never forget that one episode when Ash when it was all of them and they went on a. Uh, the one ship to, uh, what, uh, oh my god, what's the name again? Which one? Oh. These, these ships got hell of a name. The blah, blah. Bro. These ships got hell of a name. Oh my god. They, they, Not holding, they, the, the guy holding his head. What's his name? Miller? Yeah, when they went down with Miller, bro, I'll never forget that ship. And all the fucking yeah, belters yeah, went down, yeah, yeah, and they were yeah. like, nah, this is where we're at. This is where we're from. And they just came down like a fucking army yeah. of badasses, dude. Oh, yeah. It, just, it was it was the the, 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 the station. And, and, station, and, and station in this war, and, it, and, it, and in this war, and in this game, bro, they kind of they're gonna win. I feel like, bro, because like they own the they space. Own space. They own yeah. space. That's, that's they, like, like See, I know we have a planet, we can breathe and all that. But they own space. And they they know how to survive it, in that it, shit. It's it's the people who always have like the least of things have to be the most. Inventive. Yes. And in doing so, they're always underestimated. Right. Until somebody like Mark yeah, until, until somebody like Marco says the balls to stand. I know. Them. Now they got their own fucking free navy. They got their own goddamn army, bro. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, that that, uh, bird, Navy, I mean, that bird logo on um, Marcos's jacket, that's actually the symbol of the Free Navy. Boo. And then the, the Phoenix, right? Yeah. Because you want to rise from the ashes. Yeah. Man, it's so good. That, that, it's really good. We haven't even talked about it. Did we talk about Naomi? Uh, we haven't talked about Naomi yet. <laughs> Let's talk about this was like her episode, too. But, man, I mean, it, it was incredible. It was, it was beat for beat from the books. Like, the way they... Man, th- I'm I'm so glad that this story exists in the first place, but I'm even more glad that they were able to translate it to a visual medium so that a lot more people could experience it. And they've done such an outstanding job with it. Even, yeah. even even the big changes they've had to make, it's been very intelligently done. Like they, it's just it's amazing. Dominique Tipper needs an award for the acting she did. Like, if she don't get something, bro. Hey, man, I mean, I already she... felt like Tipper, Tipper was the shit, man. But like like you said, Nahi, she's really been earning them stripes, man. Miss Tipper's really been earning them stripes. Babe, I love bro, you, babe. Bro, you bro. see me, look at me. I love you. 
I love you. <laughs> and she went, dude. She went. She went. I beast swear to God, she's watching, Mikey. Dude, she watched. She you. she went beast mode, bro. Like it was like like when I even said her help. Some of the best storytelling is when they just don't have any fucking sound. The person just acts and does this thing. Yeah. And then the way they fucking they directed her, like the whole team, the way she cried, her movements, the camera editing, the splitting, and the sounds, all of it. It, it it's such a it's such a great payoff at the end, like. The whole because I, I, I this, this, this is why I love being ahead and watching you guys because like the message and you're like what is she doing what is she doing with that and then like at the end of the it, she I thought she was gonna do altered it and like okay tell yeah, me, I, I, really tell I didn't me. understand until right up until the end I, yeah. I, I had a feeling and that's like, such a great payoff because you're like yeah, oh having it play over the credits was a great even even yeah, 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 like, like, I, I had to, to stop Amazon though the touch to play it over the credits was clutch. It, 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 hit, it, hit it. it hit different. I am, I am in control. control. Yeah. It's so good. I I was kind of peeing the, the the pieces together when she was chopping it up and she was repeating it. I was like, yeah. is she gonna like cut it up? She, yeah, she's she like a chop and screw remix. Message. Message. Chop and screw. Yeah. Yeah. At first, I thought she did it just to like you know. I thought she was cutting the. I was trying to figure out is she gonna cut the message into something different. But then I thought she just did it just to make sure make it that someone's also on board. And then at the ending when they did the whole line, I was like, all right, y'all. That's good. Well, I mean, not, not only did she memorize the message, but she memorized the timing of that, it. That's, yes, that's, that's what, what she was doing. Like, yes. You saw, you saw the, the message evolve, like, yeah, yeah, she, you saw the message evolve, like, you know, she had words that didn't need to be in there until it condensed down to, I am in control. Right. Right. I, I also, I mistakenly so, thought that um, she had just sent the message specifically to uh, Drummer. Because Drummer was like, no, that's her voice. So I thought for a second, like, oh, it maybe maybe she voice. sent a specific distress signal to her. I heard, heard you say that. I heard you say that. I heard you say that. She, 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 she. But, yeah. Oh, dude. The, Drum, and Drummer's Drummer. reaction to all that was, uh, was She opened the fucking bottle, that, man. Opened, that, that was Ashford's yeah. bottle. Yeah. And, uh, that's what's to celebrate. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. portrayed that very well. Her crew. Her screaming. They, they, they have, like, a nice... Like bond between them, but then like yeah, it got like super awkward. Right? It, it, did. it did, it did, it did, it did. And then because um, like half of them are like with this so, whole Marco thing, so, and other half aren't. Yeah, because because well, the, it dude, they're being they're being strong strong held into fallen Marcos, man. Yeah. Like it's it's pretty obvious that ship is gone because of what Marco did, mm -hmm. you know. And, and it's like oh, there's sad. There's a uh, so while while we're on the subject of Ashford and Drummer, so Bull is a character from the second book and he was just there for the one book but obviously that wouldn't you know they, they took that character and they split it into drummer and ashford so everything that ashford and drummer did collectively that is bull and that so so he's a, so so he's a fucking badass and like if they do have to replace alex that again a big change that they have to make but what an intelligent decision to bring back Bull because because he's a huge fan favorite from the books that's actually really fucking cool so it, the dude that's supposed to be after whatever is Bull so it's like we're kind of like we're, we're well, already in the note of, of, of a Bull, Bull was split into yeah, yeah, in yeah, the book so he's kind of just like a fucking badass period yeah, he was, that is fucking dope yeah. I'm glad you we guys got are, Ashford and Drummer though he worked closely with uh, uh, Frank yeah. you know it, so, I'm. I don't want to lose Alex, but I mean, obviously he's leaving. I'm fine with the means replacement. I, honestly, I'm it's the perfect it. replacement. It is. It's they. It's almost Kismet. I wouldn't mind if they replace the, the actor for the character too. Oh, it's fine. Really do that. I, I wouldn't mind. That. Hey, screaming firehawks, y'all! Hey, screaming firehawks! Second time, bro. They shot this out. This is so sick. So we saw like Marco for like five minutes at the beginning of the episode, and it was just him being a bitch to Philip saying, you killed Sin, you are, like, and tell me how your mother died. That's, like, that's all he fucking What's killed. the was, fucking like, point? I, I didn't get that shit at all. I know. Me neither. Even for being me. Like, why diss him like Even that? for being me. You want to see how he would react. Yeah. You want to see how he'd react and also keep him down and, like, keep him in his clutches. Mm -hmm. he, he is a very, very abusive person. Like, fit, men, he's, a, he's so good at it. Psychological. Psychologically, he's so fucking good at it. And he had, he's been doing it to his son for the longest time. He did it to fucking Naomi. And he's good at he's good at manipulating people too, bro. He's he, like he's so fucking good. He's good at putting ideas in people's heads. Like the uh, previous episode, he's like, "You have every right to be angry with your mother," and it's like that's not what he wants to feel, no. but that's what Marcos is making mm -hmm. him. Marcos like, instilling it in him, like just with words. And, and it's believable that uh, Philip didn't flip just because he hung out with his mom for a little bit of time. Like consider the amount of time he's been with Marcos. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'd be a simp and fall immediately for Naomi just... as a son. Yeah. No. Not like that. Like, like, she's such a good hero and she's so cool and stuff. Like, you can't like, use simp. 
That's not how that's not how you use the word. I'm boomer. So okay, you know, I'm, I'm so you know, so you know, so you know, that, so you know that chick, so you know that chick that uh, that Marco sent with a uh, drummer in yeah, them. Carla. I fucking yeah. hate her so much. Yeah. I want her lipstick so, though. I, so now when she when she went back when she went back and was like me and Dom, uh, me and uh, oh my god, I call her Dominique. Me and Naomi, we go way way back. I really wonder their history now. No, what do you mean? It was like, what do you mean? We saw it. Remember, like when they were at the bar and like when they first, when she first saw Sin and, and her, yeah. Again, and they're like, oh, it's just like the old days. Run together, yeah. run no, no, I, I feel. I almost, I'm wondering if there's like more than that, not just that friendship. There's just like something beyond that, like maybe no. family or something. That's like like, that. like the relationship that Naomi had with Sin. I believe she had with those other people. Like that. That's yeah. how close they were. To to, to me, I'm Naomi sorry. Was like, no, I don't want to do what Marco. I'm sorry. One day she was like, I'm not gonna follow Marco's shit anymore, and they all took his side over her side. Mm-hmm. Okay. To me, bro, it sounded like she. She looked up to her, but people do not understand okay. how like close looking up and like can turn to jealousy and envy. You know what I'm saying? She probably wanted to be Naomi at some point in time, bro. She probably looked up to mm. her, wanted everything she had, That's a good point. and and that same love she had for her turned into like disdain because she looked up to her. She had everything she wanted, and she didn't want it anymore. So she probably like mm-hmm. that's that, it, it, it's 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 a quick trigger. Like Nahi, you my you my boy. If you stop believing in everything that you believe in, I would probably go from loving you to despising you. <laughs> I'm like, damn, like I don't like that guy. Like, who the hell are you? Who are you now? <laughs> I looked up to you. I looked up to you. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Well, shit. <laughs> Anything else, y'all? Anything else? This episode. No, man, we got this, left, man. this was just oh, a this beautiful was great episode. Done episode. Like. Anyways. I just wanted to make a makeup artist on the Amos. uh, Amos and Clarissa pissing together? Yeah, Yeah, that was 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 good bonding. Uh, Amos' brother, friend, not real brother, but the guy, Eric... He's just not believable to me as like the person he's supposed to be. It, but, like, it, it is if you read the churn. Because okay. like a- Amos has a lot to do with why Eric is where he's at. I'm actually like, the opposite, bro. I, like, I, 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 I see why he is. Eric has a whole city under my boot. And, and, and like, <laughs> he's, he's actually perfectly cast. He, like, bro, he's okay. per- bro, he's bro, perfectly cast. Serge, what about that guy makes him unbelievable? I, I think the fact that he's scrawny, he has he's missing a limb. It, it actually Yeah, that's what I think. And he's like, he actually does some shit. Like, it's like, just hard to, hard for me to believe he's running shit. Running I don't know. Shit. I, I can see that. It's like, you gotta, bro, you gotta read the church. It's like, man. it's like, you know, when you, when you see that one white guy in a group, you know, group full of black guys, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you know, hey. like, you know that he must have done some hey. crazy shit hey, let me keep, to let, impress let, those let brothers. Me, let me get real, <laughs> let me get real with y'all for a second. If you come to Chicago <laughs> and you look at the guys who run these games, you never assume that it's that guy. They like it, it, it's never the biggest guy mm-hmm. with all the tattoos on his face. No, it's the look. Mm-hmm. It's the little guy who wears yeah. glasses. It's the smallest dude who doesn't wear ghetto clothes. Like you be, you be absolutely shocked. He fits it to a T. And I didn't read the book. Damn. And I didn't read the book. He looks like the leader, bro. Bro. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm it's, bro, bro, bro. It's, a, it's, it's a valid perspective because he is. He, you're, you're, he looks. He doesn't look the type. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Not everyone and, can be calm. And that's the thing. He is a wimp. But like, yeah. he Amos was a big part of like why he is where he is. And obviously, I, I don't know if they're gonna explore that more. If we're gonna get more story on that. I but, love it, dude. Yeah, but I I love their relationship by the way because it's just it seems very brotherly. Like you know. Amos is like the asshole brother. He's like, hey man, I saw y'all got that tequila. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's very, he's just very, very like it's it's. I don't it's know awesome. if I can drink in space. I'd probably just get. And so shout sad. out to Wes, Ch- bro. He he's he's good at what he does. He literally plays himself. I feel like when he fucking plays uh, Amos. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, he, he is such a sweetheart in real life. You see him. He's like he plays, plays himself. It's hilarious. Amos just acts like he's just not afraid of the guy at all, and the guy knows it. Like it's kind of hard to try to be the intimidating guy to your bro and your bro. Like bro, you know I know you're not finna kill me, bro. Give me a drink, bro. <laughs> Give me a drink, bro. Give me a drink. I know you're not finna kill me. Like, <laughs> is that it, guys? All right. That was- <laughs> And I think that's, that's it. it. That's we that's love you, things. Expanse people. Ah! Yes, you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of The Expanse. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Sakif, Clayton, Harry McFan, Exploring Dylan, Aaron, Mr. Momus, and Joe Mags. Thanks again and have an awesome weekend.